was I wanted to find out what they're doing in the Soviet Union, Mongolia, and China mm -hmm. to solve global warming. Because you don't get it here, uh, the information. So uh, I made this map. And this, uh, I recommend that people do this if you want to travel anywhere. Is you make a map. This was a blank map when I started. And um, we traveled from Moscow to Lake Baikal and on the Trans Siberian Railroad. Now, the, the unification of China and the Soviet Union into one economy, to me, was important. And that's what they've done. And this railroad symbolizes the unification of these it. two economies. Don't say it. Why is that? Um, so, it puts, um, yeah. what we have now is a situation in the world where this is the power in the world. These two countries, these three countries. Um, and this railroad is the umbilical cord that unites these two economies. So what are they doing to develop solar power and wind power? Have you heard anything about the Soviet Union and China developing wind power and solar? Yeah. We're having one discussion here. Gentlemen, either go outside or sit down. Seriously? OK, so um, this is the situation. You don't hear anything in this country about what's going on worldwide with the development of uh, atomic energy, uh, with uh, solar and wind. So where, which country in the world is shutting down all their nukes? China. Germany. 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 China too, right? No, China's going the other way. But oh, yeah. so, um, with this concept, we can shut down all the nukes. And it's going on right now worldwide. We can shut down all the coal mines, gas fracking, Diablo Canyon. So I brought this banner. It seems to have nothing to do with Russia, but this is exactly the solution that they developed in Germany for shutting down all the nukes. This is the solution that was developed in Germany after Chernobyl. So what I discovered Chernobyl. in traveling around Russia and China is there's a massive, massive amount of windmills in these countries, especially when you cross the border from Russia into China and the Great Wall, you see um, massive forests of windmills. Windmills or wind turbines? Windmills. Giant, 100 meter tall, white windmills. This gigantic things. Oh, wind, wind turbines. Windmills. Windmills can be used for pumping water. Do you mind if I use my language? Well, well there's okay. an error there. No, there isn't. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so the importance is that the Americans, you people, are not doing this. You have no idea what's going on worldwide. Now, I didn't either until I went over there because you can't find out about it even on Google. You can't find out about what's going on worldwide. So I brought copies of. Uh, China Daily over there, if anybody wants to read what's going on. I read it every day. I uh, put all my materials up on, there's no bathroom back here. Yeah, you have to go up the stairs. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you for, yeah, the bathroom's upstairs. Keep walking back. For the time being.